Hello dear friends, creative aficionados and truth seekers. We are in the season of love and just want to share um, some special greetings to you for anyone who is in love. Many blessings to you. Enjoy this special person in your life. If, um, if you're seeking love, there's somebody out there for you in this great big incredible universe, our galaxy. And there's a piece I'm going to share with you. Hello to your friends, creative aficionados and truth seekers. We are in the spirit of love. And cherish this time, enjoy. If you have found your one and only true love, enjoy this special time. If you're searching in this intergalactic and incredibly multi-dimensional universe, I know there's somebody out there waiting for you. Just give it some time. When you least expect it, love will find you. Sometimes even from far, far beyond. So, I, I, in this episode, I want to introduce you to two of my pieces. One is going to be um, entitled Intergalactic Love. So here we are, dear friends, creative aficionados and truth seekers, right in front of my intergalactic love piece. It's entitled that way because these two magnificent individuals found themselves from an intergalactic dimension, uh, defining time, defining every possible obstacle. They fought big wars, they fought um, everything they needed to to get back together. Sometimes what seems impossible in the end is magnificently possible. So here they are. There they are. There's, um, there's Sylvia. And there's Silo. Sylvia and Silo each possess incredible magical powers and each have abilities that are incredibly human in some ways, showing compassion and love and empathy, but they also uh, contain an incredible amount of strength to travel through time to help other cohabitants of other planets and interdimensional spaces and wherever people need their help they were very powerful separately and you did it right from the start like nobody is watching what we're doing like nobody is watching us like nobody is judging I just want to share the infinite love of the entire universe, universes, times and before our times that we can't possibly even imagine, a compounded force of love for you, for your loved ones, for your everyone. Um, this is from me, Eva, to you. So as I promised, I'm going to walk you through one of my first pieces. This is This is going to be a large... It's about six feet by four feet in length. It's created on wood surface because I like the natural element of creating uh, something that is energy that comes through me in my art. And it's given birth on something natural that is wood. So let me show you this piece which I call Intergalactic Love. This piece was inspired by intergalactic love 
some kind of special guardian guardians that help in the reuniting in the finding in the collaborating and the blessing of each incredible love affair and in this particular piece there is the dragon you see the dragon right up there right up there right up there see that's the dragon that protected this powerful couple from being becoming invincible and the love blossomed and see their hearts glowing yeah their hearts are glowing forever and ever true immortal beings in this time next lifetime and many many lifetimes to come one thing I want to say and want to point out is that it's it seems like there's a lot of pressure around Valentine's you know to make to like almost some some people feel bad and they get sad and depressed if they don't have someone in their life don't feel that way just sometimes take the time to appreciate who you are and look maybe next to your right that sweet little pup or a sweet little kitten or bunny or bird or whatever pet you have next to you that's unconditional love right there it's about appreciating the love we have around us so share the love and appreciate all the bounty around you all but if you do feel depressed and sad and lonely always know you have me as your guardian, as your spiritual creative force that sends powerful messages of love and encompassing all the blessings for you every day of the week. Wanna feel like we're the only ones around, but I'm lost. You got me clueless. Cause you can reach the sky while I'm stuck here.
rabbit holes in my heart and in my mind Feeling drunk, but I'm sober This high, biggest ride of the century Wanna drop into the ocean Wanna feel like we're the only ones around But I'm lost, you got me clueless Cause you can reach the sky while I'm stuck creative aficionados hope you enjoyed this celebration of love and see you in the next episode stepping on your roller coaster going down but I never felt this high biggest ride of the century